In the last video, we got the designs done so that they're ready to test cut. So let's do that and not spend a lot of time talking about it. Let's go cut some stuff. But first, I gotta cut the stock down to the size that'll fit in the machine. I'm going to be cutting that sucker. I really need to make a better bed for this. We are way off on focus. That's close enough. So this is what it looks like in the laser software. I've got it rotated to fit the bed. I've just downloaded this. I've got my speed at speed at 30 there, power at roughly 90, and download it to the machine. It beeps, which is good. We'll run a box. That should fit. So let's cut it. It may take two or three passes. Let me make sure we're still in focus here. Let's zoom in here. And here we go. Uh, make sure my exhaust is going. Oh! Everything just turned off because everything's run through this power strip here. Everything except for the lights and the laser. And I just turned it off on accident when I was plugging in the exhaust fan. So now i got to reboot everything and set that up again because I didn't save it. Way to go, Caleb. Alright, I have it all set back up. And we're going to run the box around it just to make sure it'll fit. It should fit. We're cutting one central piece and four tentacles. I have my exhaust fan running, air assist, and let's do it. Oh that's weird. It's doing everything twice. I don't know why it's doing everything twice. That's new. Um, that's weird. Maybe I have it in there twice or something? I don't know. Why isn't it sucking the air out? The smoke. There it goes. I'm trying to block the smoke from coming out of here. It needs to go through the exhaust. It's going. Boy, that's smoky. I haven't seen anything this smoky in here yet. I'm going to need better fume extraction. Man, it's going over it so many times. I don't know what's up. It didn't do this before.
Boy, it's fascinating to watch. Let me switch views here, get you down at an angle. All right, let's test it out. Let's let some of that smoke continue to clear. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, it looks like I got the power settings just almost perfect on accident there. I don't know why I did two passes, but it worked out well. All right, let's take it and assemble elsewhere. Oh, except for the center of that hole. It only did one pass there, and it's not deep enough. That's good, this is just a test. All right, test fit time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't freaking believe it. My hands are shaky, I'm so excited. Oh, it's snug. Almost a click fit. Oh my goodness. Of course, obviously the weight is gonna pull that down right now, but there we go. Oh my goodness. So that's it for this video. Um, next time we will figure out why I didn't cut that right. We'll cut the whole thing. I think my assembly will be here. We'll be able to put it together and play with it. And that'll be exciting. And then before I go, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my buddy, Ted. He gave me this just absolutely gorgeous ruler. Super, super uh, small increments, down to like half millimeter increments. Just a beautiful ruler. I mean, I've, I've got this old rusty piece of crap that I use. Maybe I should clean it up to go with it. I'll start a little, a little ruler uh, collection or something. I prefer my Westcott here most of the time. But I think this may be my new favorite here. Just gorgeous. Thanks, Ted. 
All right, see you next time.